Hi Virgos, thank you so much for joining me for another monthly tarot reading. This is going to be your May general monthly tarot. Now before we begin, I just wanted to show you all our beautiful build your own ritual box for my new online apothecary store that I've been teasing about for months now called the Mindful Botanica. This is just a sample of what one of our own build your boxes looks like. It comes in this gorgeous craft box um, along with, in this case, a pink tourmaline crystal. Again, it's all customizable. There's a whole bunch of different options for crystals that you could pick. We also have an option between our gold stamped 100% um, organic cotton crystal pouches, or it also comes in black stamping. A package also comes with a crystal card, a thank you card with a scratch and save on the back for your future purchase. It also comes with a guide to smudging. This box in particular comes with a 10 pack of our hand dipped artisan Moldavite incense sticks. This one also comes with a four inch dragon's blood California white sage bundle as well as a three pack of Palo Santo, a four inch braided bundle of sweet grass as well as an abalone shell now all of this can be yours for a discounted price if you sign up for our exclusive launch discount i will leave a link in the description box below it's just our mailing list and um uh, there's going to be exclusive discounts for the store launch, which is happening on May 21st, the start of Gemini season. So I hope you guys are all excited. I am over the moon excited and so happy that this is all finally coming together. Um, I can't wait to show you guys other sneak peeks. If you've already signed up for our mailing list, thank you so much for all of your support. And I am so looking forward to May 21st and to get these beautiful packages into your hands. This is part of our ritual collection, which is our first launch. And I can't wait to hear what you guys think of your products. So again, if you are interested, go ahead and sign up for our mailing list where more information will be sent out as we approach May 21st. Now, in celebration of the launch of my online store, I am also going to be having an exclusive crystal giveaway for a 24 piece mixed crystal polished tumble and raw crystal set. If you are interested in participating in that giveaway, it's going to be happening very soon all over on my Instagram page. Uh, again, all of the information and links will be in the description box below um, and it'll be hosted on both of my Instagram page pages, the Mindful Awakening as well as Mindful Botanica Toronto. All right, show us everything we need to see for all Virgo signs, sun, moon, and rising for the month of May. Show us everything we need to know for Virgo signs for the month of May. Show us everything we need to see. Two of Swords upright. So we're starting off your spread with the Two of Swords upright, needing to make a decision, torn between two worlds. We're going to pull more cards to see what other messages we have. I think you're a little bit confused about what movements you need to be making next. It could be that you're needing to make a choice between two different things. Now this can have something to do with a small business. It can have something to do with a personal project. Okay, we have the Emperor card in reverse here. This is my entrepreneur card, my big boss energy, but it's in reverse. So I think you're a little bit concerned about whether or not you're making the right decisions regarding your small business or a passion project. Right, okay, so at the bottom of the deck, we have here the Knight of Swords in Reverse. So as your overall energy, I'm getting here that you don't wanna to rush to make any decisions right now. Uh, you're really trying your best, High Priestess Upright, to pay attention to your intuition and listen to your higher self. There's a lot going on in your life right now, Virgo. I, I'm really feeling like you're in the middle of a transition. 
I don't think you have all of the answers that would make you more comfortable in making this choice just yet, but things are slowly starting to reveal themselves. And as they reveal themselves, the more and more comfortable you will get at making this big decision. Now, I think you already have the answers that you seek. If you're confused at the moment, I think your intuition is just blocked. Uh, could be your fears that are coming up, things from your past. Could also be just being fearful that this is your time. I think there's a certain pressure that comes along with knowing what you're capable of doing and stepping up and actually doing it. Um, I think you know that you are ready to make this big step, but you're still working through some things right now. And with this Knight of Swords in reverse, you want to make sure that you have all of your ducks in line, that you're communicating about this with the right people. Um, and again, I think you're still kind of working through the logistics of things. For some of you, what you're working through has something to do with your family, it has something to do with your overall stability. For some, it's material wealth, making sure all of your finances are in line before you make this decision. We do have the Ten of Pentacles up here. Whatever choice that you're going to be making in the next month uh, is going to affect your family structure or your home structure for better. Um, I don't think this decision is going to be to the detriment of your loved ones. If you are in a partnership or you have a family, this is going to have a positive impact to this decision that you are making regarding a passion project of yours. Maybe some of you may be contemplating starting a business or reinvesting your money into something else. Maybe it's a property. Maybe you're going to be a silent investor in a, someone else's business. For others of you, this is just trying to get clear on how to close out old cycles so that you can start something new. This There's just a lot of new energy, new rebirth energy. We have the Empress card upright also if you're trying to get pregnant this is an excellent time you are very fertile and it seems like all of the stars are in alignment for you to get pregnant during this time uh, this could also be the birth of a new project the birth of a new era the start of a whole new cycle for you and this new cycle again like i said is going to have a positive impact on your pocket um, I do feel an influx of money coming your way. Uh, and this is a stability, a long-term stability that I don't think you felt in quite some time. And I think that's part of the reason why there's a little bit of fear in making such a big choice here because you can feel it. Your intuition is telling you that this is a big deal. Your intuition is also telling you to move in a certain direction. And if you haven't made a choice yet, I think you're still working through voices, opinions of other people, whatever these crows represent for you, things that you've been haunted by in your past. Uh, maybe you're fearful of what your loved ones may think or the opinions of, of others or the secret haters that are around and, you know, hoping and waiting for you to mess up and fail. Um, but once you work through this and you get this out of your way, I really do see a path opening up for you. Like the universe is clearing a path for you to, to be successful in this new endeavor. Let's go ahead and pull some clarification cards on this Two of Swords, why don't we? Show us what we need to see for Virgo signs. Virgo signs, Two of Swords. Two of Swords, clarify the Two of Swords. We have here the six of wands upright. You are riding into victory. Wow. What else do we have? We have the eight of pentacles in reverse and we have the nine of swords in reverse. Once you make this decision, once you own your victory, once you own your power and you start living up to what you know you're capable of doing, you're going to find that you don't have to work as hard as you've worked for so long. You've been hustling, Virgo signs. You've been at it for a very long time, Eight of Pentacles. Now is time for you to reinvest in a way where you don't have to be doing all the legwork anymore. And I think once you start uh, reallocating your resources, delegating tasks, finding ways to bring money back in, as opposed to you doing all of this labor, in order to make money. I'm, I'm really seeing here that this investment 
that you are making is not only going to bring money into your life and material abundance into your life, it's also going to make you less stressed out. Um, and this victory comes easily once you decide to take off the blindfold of the Two of Swords and really honor your strengths. There's something opening up here for you, an opportunity opening up here for you, and it's big. It's big. It's almost life-changing. Dare I say life-changing. <laughs> Let's check out this Emperor. Let's clarify the Emperor. Well, we have the Queen of Wands in reverse. What else? Emperor. What else for the Emperor in reverse, please? What else? The Moon upright as well as Eight of Wands upright. Could be dealing with a fire sign, Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius. There's something that you don't quite know everything about just yet. Uh, you don't have all of the information. I think there's some details that you're still waiting for in order for you to make this choice confidently and from a safe place. Uh, Eight of Wands is up right here. So you're going to be receiving some quick communication around whatever it is that you don't know, possibly from this fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Okay, let's see what else. Could also be dealing with the Pisces. Okay, but uh, it's very a very emotional time right now. And things are happening very quickly. Eight of Wands. The communication you're receiving around this is happening very, very quickly. And all will be revealed very soon. Clarify the Ten of Pentacles. Okay, we have the Four of Swords upright. What else? Ten of Pentacles. Queen of Pentacles upright, Temperance in reverse. Could be dealing with a Sagittarius, could be dealing with an Earth sign, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo. Okay, this is needing to take a step back. We just need to pause for a second and take a step back, Four of Swords upright. Let's reevaluate our situation and take our time, Queen of Pentacles upright. We know we have everything that we need in order to be successful. We know that we have a reputation, we have finances, we have resources, a specific material wealth. We have what we need in order to be successful, but there's so much going on around us that we are feeling a little bit imbalanced here. Okay, it, we are being called to find a balance within our emotions, an internal um, equilibrium that we can only find through taking a step back and resting in order for us to make a proper decision. It could also be that in your time out to make this choice, you may have an earth sign uh, or a Sagittarius who's helping you to restabilize your mood and to restabilize um the vision that you have for everything going on. It might be that there's so much happening that you're kind of losing sight of your purpose, of your goal, of, of what you set out to do to begin with and why you're here to begin with. Uh, these people that are in your life um, during your time out are going to help you remember what why it is and what it is that you do what you do. Let's take a look at this Empress. These people can also be uh, potential partners in business. Ace of Swords upright. See, perfect. You're finally speaking your truth. You're finally speaking your truth. This showed up upright. The Wheel of Fortune upright. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Okay, well... You could have a Gemini, Aquarius, or a Libra in your circle that's really helping you to manifest this incredible new beginning and to help bring to life your vision. We also have here the Ace of Swords. It's time for you to speak your truth. In addition to this, we have the Wheel of Fortune upright. What goes up must come down and vice versa. You have worked so long and so hard for this incredible opportunity. It is now your time, Virgo. Whatever passion project you have going on has no other... Um, outcome except for success. The question is, when are you going to be ready to step up to the plate and claim your throne? This Queen of Swords is going to come in and help you discern the right people to partner with versus the people who are low-key haters and energy vampires and are only here for a free ride. Okay, when people look at you, they see success. 
And so you're attracting these people into your life while you are simultaneously um, creating space for wealth and abundance. So the message here is also be, be very careful with the people that you allow close to you. Be the queen of swords. See things for what they are. Don't be afraid to cut people off. Ace of um, swords upright. Cut people off if you need to. Speak your truth. You don't have to defend why you're doing what you're doing. Make the best decisions for you because this is a very karmic time. Okay, if you feel like you've worked so hard and you've never been uh, given a free ride or an easy ride, you are going to see your luck turn around this month. All right, let's see. We're going to pull from the this um, or it's not even an Oracle deck. It's really a healing deck. It's the self edition by Skin Deep. I love these cards. They've been amazing for journal prompts and self reflection. So let's see if there's any additional messages from this particular deck. What excites me the most about it? If you are questioning why you're doing what you're doing, if you're wondering if this really is your time, if you are trying to dilute your excitement, if you're trying to downgrade how massive this opportunity is for you, please channel the energy of this card. What excites me the most about it? This, this is amazing. Something huge is happening for you. Keep that fire alive. What makes you excited about this opportunity? One last card, please. One last card. Okay, we have two. Don't make decisions based on guilt or what you think you should do, for it is only in being true to yourself that you can be true to others. Amazing. And lastly, sexual union. Honor the place in one another where you are one eternal soul, for there you will be filled with true bliss. I am getting a lot of partnership in this also. Um, this sexual sacred union comes from the same chakra, right? Your sacral chakra is the same place of creation. So definitely tap into this energy. It might also help to keep you balanced here. Um, uh, it might even help to allow the creative juices to flow as you continue to pour into this incredible new journey that you're about to go on. Virgo signs, this is a huge month for you. I'm not surprised since we are entering eclipse season. Uh, we're having a solar eclipse in like a day. So it's not a surprise to me that you have such big energy. I really hope this message resonates with you. Honor your truth, honor your path. I can't wait to see how it turns out. Take care and I will see you next time. Bye.